Let's discuss. Hey everyone, it's Rachel back again with another reaction video and I am very excited today because Sarah Safe has dropped a new track called Meadow and if you have not heard of this band before, they are fantastic. I did a lot of preaching about them last year. They only have three tracks prior to this one, but all three are phenomenal. I was going to do an on-repeat video for their song Resilience. Highly suggest that you check it out if you have not heard it, but... I knew that this was coming, a newer song, so I didn't get a chance to do that yet. I probably still will do it because that song is so good and I feel like those videos helped people listen to Blue Shift more from the channel, so I'll probably end up doing that still. But today we are going to check out their new track, Meadow. Like I said, they have three songs. They're a newer band. Well, now they have four. They're a newer band, but this is the band that I picked last year as like my up-and-coming band of the year. I really think that this band does some awesome things. I have a lot of faith in them, so I am stoked to check this out. I'm going to stop talking and we are going to get straight into it. Okay. Definitely note there's a, uh, a trigger warning. definitely has like that eerie feel to the intro. going on in the atmosphere of the song. Chorus.
Belfast. All these links I will put in the description. Sierra Safe, Meadow, let's discuss. This is exactly what I'm hoping to see from this band, especially given, so they, like I said, they have three songs other than this song. It's not very much to go off of. The three songs that they do have, each one of them are fantastic, in my opinion. Each one of them I, I love just about the same amount. They can all go on repeat for me, so getting a fourth song into the mix, that's one quarter of their whole discography, so it's, it's a really important release, I feel, and this is what I had hoped for, not knowingly, but definitely what I had hoped for. Because when you take songs like Resilience or Livid Color, those are two of their other songs, they've got kind of what you're looking for with, with metalcore. The cleans are, are the perfect cleans that I'm looking for. The guitar work is excellent. Some of the riffs are just have that like... It's something about just the sound overall the, that the guitar, like the opening riff of this this track, Meadow, the opening riff, as soon as I heard it, I was like, ah, yes, this is it. The intro was a little bit long. I was, I was wondering, but I get it too. This is a heavy subject that they're touching on when it comes to what we were reading, what, what the song is about. It's so, an intro to a song has the ability to like really set the field emotionally. So including those, those clips in there, including kind of that eerie sound that I was talking about when it was happening, it, it sets the ground for the message of the song, I feel like, so it does make sense. And then going straight into the song, you have that beautiful riff that opens it up, the uncleans with that energy, but I also really dig the parts where it has that ambient feel to it. There's not that same kind of, I don't even know what style that guitar is, it just sounds phenomenal to me, but it it comes away from that, like pre-breakdown as well, and, and we'll get to the breakdown, but in the spots where it comes out of that heaviness or, or that fast, quick pace that it had going, those those parts were equally, equally, equally appreciated by me is what I was, what I was going for there, but how there's one sentence where you have clean singing that just goes to un aggressive unclean vocals and the song shifts at that point little things like that in the chorus there was this little break instrumentally that oh man it, it just was absolutely fantastic I loved this chorus the first time hearing it I was like this is the chorus it has to be please be let me hear this again I loved this chorus so like I said in the beginning this is definitely a band where I'm hearing their their first four tracks and they all sound absolutely fantastic to me. I'm definitely blown away by these four songs as their first releases. They're, this is released through Dreambound. 
I love Dreambound, talk about Dreambound a lot on the channel. They popped into a few live streams and stuff. I love Dreambound. They're very awesome, but also a lot of the times when I'm checking out bands I'm hearing for the first time, they're new and upcoming bands, and I look at who posts, it's Dreambound. And I really dig that. I like that Sierra Safe's getting in here and because they have other music, at least one other vi music video I know I was released through Dreambound because it was the first one that I saw. And I remember seeing the Dreambound thing and being like, yeah, that makes sense. But this song compared to the, the other three songs that they have, it definitely feels like striding. There are parts of it that very clearly resemble the first three tracks that they have, but there there also feels to be parts where they're going a bit more experimental compared to those other three tracks, adding things that are a little bit different. And I'm not sure, of course, given I've only heard three songs from them ever, a lot of times I've heard those three songs, but each one feels kind of important to getting to know their song style. I was really hyped for this too, like thinking, I hope I dig it because I'm hyped on this band. And if I don't dig it, it would kind of be a bummer, but it happens sometimes when, when bands kind of change their sound or they're figuring out what their sound is. But this, for me, has me definitely right on board. I really dig this. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Shout out to this band for being awesome. They're killing it with their first four songs and for getting this over to me a little bit early so that I could get this video ready. Highly appreciate that. So make sure you check them out on social media. I'll link everything in the description. As I mentioned, they're a newer band, so I feel like that's definitely an important time to for everybody to like get on board and hype them up. Tell your friends about it if you dug the song, that sort of thing. That's what I'm trying to do. So I would, I would suggest you do the same. That's what we're here for, especially when bands can't have shows and stuff like that. I feel like it helps. So send it to a friend or something if you dug it that you think would dig it. Let me know what you thought in the comments. If you have an unrelated song that you'd like to see added to either of the lists that I work off of when I'm doing request-based videos, both links will be in the description of this video as well as the invite link for the Discord server, which will be in my Linktree link. The Discord server is a lot of fun. We've had more people joining recently, a lot of jokes, good times, but a lot of really great people in there as well. So if you're kind to other people capable of doing that, interested in an online community that will be there in that same link tree link. You can find my Instagram profile link. My handle on there is Rachel Reacts. It's the same as my YouTube channel, but as always, I'll put it right here on the screen for you. I post music related things, vinyl, merch, what I listen to the most every week, new songs that I find, YouTube stuff, just all music related. So if that interests you in any way, it will be there. As always, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it.